How did life change for you from being a psychiatrist to a member of parliament? Well, um, being a psychiatrist, definitely you are busy. And uh, I had uh, duties as well. So, uh, like 24 hours duties. So I was already busy in that life. Mm. Now, uh, being a politician, still you are busy, but in a bit different way. Um, especially that it is a, a different, uh, uh, you know, field that you are working in. Mm -hmm. So you have to uh, not only focus on uh, the, the parliament and the, the council and and what issues we are tackling in terms of legislations and uh, committees, meetings and okay. all, but developing the self as a politician takes a bit of my time as well. Okay. Reading, researching, and trying to uh, be more a professional as a, as a, as a, as a politician. Um, like definitely being a psychiatrist, having some skills of uh, understanding people's yes. thinking and what they want and how they are um, expressing their needs mm -hmm. uh, helped me a lot in also being a, a politician and made it a bit easier for me. Well, tell us about a typical day in the life of uh, MP Dr. Sausan Kamal. Well, every day it's a different day, but let's talk about Tuesday. One, like Tuesday is the main uh, council's uh, meeting. So uh, we started at 9.30 um, and sometimes it gets too long, like 8, 10 hours sometimes. Um, of course we discuss some of the legislation, some of the suggestions and uh, we get more active there. Um, definitely you have a breaks in between and once you're done, uh, like let me tell you, that day, mm -hmm. like your mind is just busy with everything happens, every moment passed in the council. And uh, as a psychiatrist, I'm like an analytical person. So I continuously just think about the issues and how could, have, could it have been dealt with in a better way mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. how in the future I will be dealing with it. Yes. And sometimes I continue like reading and researching on that day. Other days we will be having like committee meetings. Um, and like a transfer half an hour, sometimes to one or two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my phone is always on mm -hmm. and I keep on receiving calls from the constituents. Uh, different issues that we tackle. Their needs, uh, some problems to be solved and so on. Currently in the month of March, we're celebrating the International Women's Month. Uh, what advice would you give women who are currently looking to uh, run for a seat in Parliament or who are trying to and are going through challenges? Preparation is number one. Okay. And focus. So once you decide to get into the political field, you have to put a plan. And you have to start with yourself first. You have to build yourself in different aspects. Reading, researching is number one. And uh, networking with those people who are, who are in the political field. Uh, this is a must. Because you get the energy. You get the charisma, let's say. So uh, even from now, even like a year or two years ahead from getting into a political uh, uh, career you have to let's say follow those who are uh, politicians mm -hmm. uh, on Instagram or uh, other social media uh, channels because you will be get, getting inspired on daily basis mm -hmm. while you are following them listening to their talks and uh, debates and mm -hmm. what issues are there uh, in the field so this is a must mm -hmm. starting with the self and networking with others and then getting into action like getting into workshops mm -hmm. which will prepare you more into dealing with um, let's say legislations mm -hmm. for example i come from a 
medical background. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, yani my information is very limited uh, regards uh, of laws and legislations. Mm -hmm. So I have to be more exposed to that. Yes. Read more you through that. You need to educate that. yourself. Yes, yeah. read more through that. And um, take it soft and not to pressurize on the self mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, once you are ready, you will find yourself getting out and stepping out of the comfort zone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and reaching your target. So, good. step by step. What's next for Dr. Sausan Al Kamal? Minister? Well, let me tell you <laughs> this. I did not plan it ahead to be a member of the Council of Representatives, but I always say it like it just came because once you are prepared for it you work on yourself the position comes to you like people even will notice you being a good candidate for that position mm -hmm. and they will uh, help you to be it so are you saying it's a possibility oh definitely <laughs> everything is possible yeah everything is possible uh, but being in your position, sometimes you don't see yourself in another position. But being open-minded and uh, widely uh, putting all the possibilities and being ready for it uh, always helps the position to be ready for you. And so our channel is called uh, The Untold Stories of Successful People. Mm -hmm. Tell us one story that you've never told any journalist during your campaign or during your life in psychiatry. <laughs> Like for me, there is nothing hard. So every day, even like if things were considered a biggest struggle to others, I find myself um, accepting every moment that it comes. So I don't have that, um, let's say, sense of difficulties. Mm -hmm. The decision of getting into the political field was a bit of, because as I told you, I retired, and after retirement, I had two years of a quiet, nice life. Yes. Enjoying myself and just having my company. So uh, I knew that getting into the political uh, Arena, field yeah. will, will take a, a lot of uh, time and effort and uh, um, will have a different lifestyle, let's mm -hmm. say. Um, that had to be thought of. Uh, in a serious way uh, because I would be representing uh, citizens and it's a big responsibility that I had to to carry on mm -hmm. and uh, that decision making at the last moment had me uh, get a lot of thoughts into it mm -hmm. and uh, that was a bit of difficult. What a great story. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Uh, Member of Parliament, Dr. Sausan Kamal. Thank you so much. Thank you as well. Thank you.